We are following that breaking news from Romeoville, where two children and two adults were found dead inside of a home. Police just spoke about that case in the last hour. CBS 2's Darius Johnson is live for us at the police department with an update on the investigation. Darius. Good morning, Marie. I can tell you these are gut wrenching details that we're just getting in from the Romeoville Police Department. I can tell you that we now know that two adults and two children are dead. Those two adults have been identified as Roberto Rallone and Zoraida Bartholomew. Their ages have not yet been released, along with the genders, names, or ages of the two children who were also found dead inside that home. In addition to those four, police also say three dogs were shot to death. All of this, police believe, took place inside that home on Concord Drive. Go or Concord Avenue. Take a look at some of that video that we've been able to gather. Romeoville police first arrived at that home around 845 Sunday night for a well-being check. The well-being check was after one of the adults did not show up for work on Sunday morning and later a family member tried to get in contact with the family and got nothing. When police arrived, they found all four dead inside with gunshot wounds. Hours after police hours after being at the scene, police say they were able to learn that someone came in and killed these four people inside their home. Preliminary investigation leads police to believe this happened between 9 p.m. on Saturday and 5 a.m. on Sunday morning. While at the home on Concord Avenue, we witnessed crime scene technicians going in and out of the home taking photos. There were also several brown and pink bags removed from the home, along with other random items like what appeared to be a TV or a computer screen and also a screen of a window. Sadly, we also saw those three dogs being removed from the home in body bags. Back out here live right now, Romeoville police tell me that there is no ongoing threat due to the amount of time that has passed since they believe all of this happened sometime between Saturday night and Sunday morning, but they have yet to locate a shooter. They also wouldn't provide any details if it appeared to be a break in or if these victims were possibly shot while sleeping. However, they are still asking people right here in the community to reach out to Romeoville Police if they have any additional information. We're live right now at the Romeoville Police Department. I'm Darius Johnson, CBS 2 News. Darius, thank you for that report.